What's up? It's your boy Oleo, aka Oleotrophic. This is episode 23 of My Road to Trimmed Completion Escape. After reset last night, Castle Wars went on spotlight, so I have been AFKing some Castle Wars. And I actually just put membership back on to my Mesotrophic account or my old school slash RS3 Iron Man account. So I have been AFKing some of that today. Trying to get as many games as I can in on here. Hopefully get some more in this weekend. But without further ado, let's get into the episode. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the completion of my Slayer Codex. So we have Ripper Demon, Bulbous Crawler, Glacor, Vine Crawler, and Imperial Guard Ock. Don't get me wrong, but I do believe that is 149 out of 149. Now, do I just talk to... Yep. So, 7 Empty Ushtabi. I should have gotten the title now. Yep. For meeting both Moverans, Platinum, Rush of Blood Challenge, and completing the Slayer Codex, you have unlocked title Slayer Master. So I'm going to go ahead and slap that on really quick because I think it looks cool in gold. If I... Oh, there it is. Dope. So that knocks out the trim wreck, of course, for... I think it's to be a master. Yep, fully complete the Slayer Codex. So that knocks that one out, and that leaves me with 10 trimmed requirements left. So... Slowly but surely, chipping away at him. Uh, well then. Uh. Hmm. I just decided to make, I don't know, a little over 200 weapon gizmos. Just to see if I could pull out, uh, a P4E2. And I actually got one. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Anyways, let's see if we can get another one, eh? So today with the release of the Seeker and Soul Gazer Slayer Monsters, they added them to, of course, the Slayer Codex. So I had to go ahead and grab the Ushtabis again and see if we couldn't collect the souls. And honestly, it didn't take that long. Um, the Seeker I got within maybe 10 kills, and the Soul Gazer I think I got on my second kill. So I'm going to go ahead and slap these into the chest of souls. So there's Soul Gazer and there's Seeker. Uh, nothing more really to say about them. Um, I guess they have a chance of dropping the Hex Hunter bow, which is like from, you know, Damon Heim, but obviously you can't take that one out. So there's a new, I think it's like T80, uh, Hex Hunter bow. But apart from that, I, I really haven't seen much about them. Um, I'm not sure, you know, really what they drop. But either way, they are a Slayer creature, so I'm sure eventually, you, you know, you'll get an assignment or the two somewhere down the road. And all you need is the communication device to teleport to the Zamorak hideout, and then there's doors there you can walk through, and there's a big room. It's pretty packed right now, honestly. I had a hard time finding in, finding a decently empty world, but they obviously just came out, you know, six, eight hours ago. But either way, um, that does recomplete the codex as you can see the seeker i guess took me 13 kills oh that's total so either way codex is refinished oh, oh, oh. yo let's go that's the last one <sighs> Let's go, Kelgarian Commander complete. God, it feels so good to get that done. And if anyone was curious, um, it took me 4,667 kills to get all five titles. Uh, if you remember back a couple episodes, I finally broke my dry streak around, I think, 22 or 2300. And that was almost 2K kills without getting a title. So we're talking another 2300 to get the other four. Yeah. Roughly. So, not too bad. Um, I, I was starting a loot tab from loot from, you know, title 2 through 5. And I had started it right at 2k kills, but I ended up selling it because I needed the money. But I 
Calgarian Demons are, I would say, pretty decent money. Um, I was getting right around, a bad hour was about 100 kills per hour, but you could probably get an upwards of 120 or so. And you get quite a few Onyxes, and the Dragon Slayer gear doesn't sell for too bad pricing nowadays. But uh, either way, they're pretty decent monsters to kill. And then, obviously, being on Slayer Task, you have the extra accuracy with the Slayer Helm. And that really helps, because they do have pretty high defense. But either way, Calgarian Commander Achievement Complete. That leaves me with nine trim requirements left. I don't have any more PVM uh, requirements. We have Chompy's Conquest, Castle Wars, Fish Flingers, Barbarian Assault, Mobilizing Armies, Barbarian Assault, Statues, Statues. I have no PVMing content left unless they come out with more Slayer Monsters before I end up trimming. But uh, I guess Barbarian Assault if you want to consider Barbarian Assault PVMing. But uh, no monsters, you know, out in the wild to kill. So now gets to the boring content. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm probably going to start working on Chompies now. Conquest isn't going to be too long. I have a buddy that is going to let me duel, I guess, against his alt. So I can get my score up there. Castle Wars, I'm probably going to end up leaving until the end. And that's what I'm going to switch over, and you'll see a lot more um, old school content. I have a lot of clips saved up, but I lost membership on the account, so I'm not worried about getting those episodes out right away. Fishlingers is going to be pretty grindy. Barbarian Assault's not bad at all. I just have to do it on Spotlight, and I'll be able to find games. And then Rocks, I only got five weeks of Rocks left. I'll have to see when I can complete my next one. But either way, slowly but surely making that progress. Alright, so just to update you guys a little bit on my Castle Wars progress, I've slowly been working on it over time, but really haven't done a whole lot of it, but I do have a good percentage done, I guess. And there's actually a formula that you can use to calculate your progress that figures in your Thaler and your Golden Tickets. So if I look at that, so if I pull up my calculator, I take my Thaler, which is 1216, divided by 11.5, and then add that to my golden tickets, which I have 269, equals, and then divide that by 4150, times 100. I am 9% done with uh, Castle Wars, and I honestly, I don't feel like I've done a whole lot of it. I've played 80 games. And so, you know, almost 10% done, a tenth of the way to having the biggest trimmed requirement done, which is actually kind of a good feeling because getting burnt out early, I think, is going to be a bad thing. And I guess that's why I should do it more over time, but I'm probably going to save a big majority of it for the end just because I I have other stuff I can work on. And, like, knowing I have other stuff I can work on doesn't give me the motivation to just sit at Castle Wars the whole time. I don't know, I'm weird. I To do something big like that, I just have to leave it until the end. But either way, I have a set of racks to turn in, so I will see you guys at the museum. Alright, so back at our favorite place in Gilinor to complete another statue, so I'm going to go ahead and add these. Watch our arguably favorite cutscene in the whole entire game. And get our replica rock piece. And I can't remember if... I think I have one already in the bank. I'm not 100% sure though. Actually, I don't know. That shape looks weird. I might not have the, ma the match to that. Uh, I do not. So... That means we have an odd number left. Do I have five weeks left? I think five weeks left total of racks. I don't know. Either way, another set of racks. Alright, so I dare say quite a bit of progress was made in this episode. I was able to get that Golden Slayer Master title finally by completing the Slayer Codex actually twice because I finished it at 149 and then 
this Monday they added the two new Slayer creatures, so I had to go collect those souls too, getting it again. So it was cool to be able to get that done because that's been sitting in my bank for a while, and ever since they buffed the chance at souls, I hadn't been able to do it, and honestly, I got the seven left in, I don't know, a week and a half, matter, a week and a half or so. And then to pull out that last Kilgarian title felt so good because I'd camped there pretty consistently as of late. And to be able to get that was a big relief. And now, honestly, you know, it it doesn't feel like I'm that far off from Trim. I know I have, you know, 90% of Castle Wars to do, but a lot of that's just, you know, sitting around. The rocks are going to be tough. Don't get me wrong. We have uh, five weeks left of Strange Rocks and then all, mostly the Golden Rocks. But I feel like the Golden Rocks I'll be able to just grind out and I'm sorry that I just farted and that probably ruins this whole clip. But don't worry about that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was episode 23 and we hit 60 subscribers last week at some point. So I thank you guys for that. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you haven't seen all the other episodes, go back and watch them. I I feel like we've made bounds and leaps since the first episode. Me personally as a content creator and obviously as my road to trimmed, you know. So with that being said, be sure to like the video, subscribe as always, and comment if needed. And I will see you guys later. Peace.